Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're at Vienna HBF train station and as you guys can all imagine, we're gonna review a train. This train is by RegioJet and it's gonna be something different, something new because it's the first time I'm reviewing a train for you guys. So hopefully you enjoy this video and if so, remember to leave a like and subscribe down below. The train we're gonna board is by RegioJet and in both ways because it's gonna be a double video at the same time um, it's gonna be in business class so hopefully you can see something different something interesting because it's my first time also traveling with radio jet so you're gonna have the first experience it with me so come and join me with in this adventure and hopefully to enjoy the ride and as you can see from the background videos guys you can imagine that the vienna train station is big and it is it's quite impressive on the lower level, you can find a big selection of businesses and restaurants for your convenience, while in the upper level, you will only find the trains. Also here on the upper level, you can realize the hugeness of the building of it as itself. The roofing was quite impressive, as you can see with this odd shape. And we can find the screens where we'll find our train. Unfortunately, it's with a delay, but we'll be doing some train spotting for you guys. You can see that this is an OBB, which is a Austria national company for the railway system. And well, we see this train go through. I want to thank you all for the support lady on the channel. And I want to thank you as well for watching this video and being part of the community as a whole. So thank you so much, guys. And let's keep watching. So after a delay of around 15 minutes, the train finally arrived to the railway and as you can see unfortunately the business class cabin was at the very end of the train so i had to take a long walk now oddly enough you can see this huge number two at the door i don't know why it says number two instead of number one usually they are marked with the classes but i don't know radio jet then this is the cabin you will get when you book with business class you only get of course one seat now, as you can see, the material of this seat is this uh, plasticky leather, which is fine. It's uh, something premium, if you will, but with this European heat, it was quite dif difficult. Unfortunately, between stops, as you can see, they do not clean the cabin. So it's really dirty and quite nasty. As you can see, it was gross. I found trash all over the magazines. There were remainings of bottles and meals, which is something you would not hope even uh, with the cheapest seat available, which will go right into it after this. Now, as you can see, traveling in business class, you will receive a menu which had plenty of options for meals. And they were all the price in Czech crowns, which is quite cheap as uh, for Europe. And the meals were not that expensive. And unfortunately, as you can see, most of the magazines were in Czech, so you won't really understand anything unless you're able, able to speak Czech. And as you could see also in that magazine, it had trash, so it was something really unfortunate. Right after we departed, the business class personnel handed over complimentary champagne or juice, as well as a bottle of water, which was really nice. And as always, guys, we'll do a bathroom check. Unfortunately, while I was reviewing it, it was also my first impression. So it was the first time I actually opened the door while I was recording. And I felt it was something really nasty. As you can see, there was no paper towel. The floor was filled with water, or hopefully it was water. And of course, the toilet paper was on the floor. So you can imagine it was the nastiest bathroom I've ever been to. Now checking out the cabins, or some of the cabins, because people do seem to be uncomfortable with me recording, so I did it quite fast and where I was able to do it without uncomforting anyone. You can see the next type of cabin. It was mainly the same as business class, but instead of fitting four passengers, it fitted six. It looked quite okay. Now you can see there was a child's play area, which was mainly two cabins combined. And in the center, there were no seats, so they could play over there. The next type of cabin, which I will just show you throughout that window, 
it was just seats like in a regular plane. Now a quick hack or a great idea if you're traveling with RegioJet, as you could see the both uh, seats reclined completely so you can purchase the two and you will have a flat bed. And after a couple of hours, we finally arrived to Budapest um, Terminal train station, which as you can see, it's really different from Vienna HPF train station. Even the infrastructure has changed dramatically. It's quite smaller and not as surprising. Still, it's really nice and decent. So we need to become more considerate with Hungary because of course its economy is really different from Austria as a whole. Now we can see some similarities between Vienna HBF and Budapest Kellenfold train station because as you can realize the distribution as a whole is quite similar. On the first floor you can find businesses and restaurants and on the second floor you can find the trains. A particular thing about this train station is that the metro system is just below it so you can use the metro to go to the city but something you need to consider if you're traveling to here to Budapest by train it's to bring some florins with you which is the currency from here because they won't accept euros for paying the train and of course the credit card might fail so always have a plan B as well as the bathroom it will also cost 1 euro or 250 florins but I would recommend paying florins because 1 euro is about 400 and something florins now in between train reviews I wanted to show you guys what I was able to see in Budapest as you can see it's gonna be a small travel uh, review while doing a train review so enjoy it with me as you can see Budapest is a city which is divided with the river similar to other cities in Europe and there were beautiful things to visit such as the parliament which you are seeing right now and also a Basilica and many other things that are just great about Hungary as a whole. Now I stayed for only three days in Budapest, which I feel they were barely enough. I would have dedicated more time if I had during this holiday. Unfortunately, I didn't. But of course, if you have the chance, I really recommend visiting Hungary and Budapest particularly. Now we are back at Budapest Kellen Fall train station for our next train with destination Prague. And as you can see, there is quite some difference between Budapest train station and Vienna train station. This time the train only arrived about 5 minutes late, so it was not as bad as the last time. But last time I skipped some details such as the temperature panel control which didn't really work at all, a button to change the volume, and if you're into extra details you can see that the headrest does say business this time instead of just radio jet. Before the parting I actually purchased this bread. And I wanted to show you off guys this breakfast that I will have. Now, traveling from Vienna to Budapest and vice versa was something really straightforward. It didn't really was complicated or long. From, but from Budapest to Prague it was just a nightmare as a whole because the train made like 20 stops. I'm not kidding, probably like 9 or 10. And in some of them it was uh, oddly long stops probably like 20 30 minutes and there was also a huge delay in between so at the end we arrived almost an hour later and the worst part of all is like it was 30 something degrees outside um celsius of course and the air was not working like when they stopped the air just shut down completely and in between um, stations sometimes they did shut it off as well so you could see Luckily for us, we were on business, so it was not really crowded. But in the other cabins, people were just standing without their shirts and using everything they could to have some air with them. 
after sharing with you guys this experience, I also wanted to show you the things we ordered from the menu. The first one was a chicken curry and the second one was a meat kebab. Both were very good actually. And after many hours, we finally arrived to Prague. As you can see, similar to other train stations that we've reviewed in this video, the trains are on the second floor and all the action happens below us. Also, as you can see, the yellow train is our train, so if you ever try to book RegioJet, I'm pretty sure and confident that you will not lose sight of your train, so you'll be able to see where can you hop on it. And I'll share with you guys the prices and how it was compared to a flight. Uh, for my experience, I would say it's really convenient to book out a train, particularly because you don't need to be three hours before departure and you are not really restricted with what articles you can bring and whatnot. So it's really practical if you're traveling within Europe. Unfortunately, we do not have these kind of services in America, but hopefully sometime soon we actually get some of these great services. Uh, thank you all for watching and hope to see you soon. Please remember to leave a like down below and consider subscribing. It will help me a lot out in the channel. Thanks so much and see you on the next one. Before leaving, guys, I wanted to share with you my opinion on this tr train station. As you can see, it's pretty much a shopping mall as well on the ground floor, which I found great. I mean, I was surprised with Vienna train station as a whole because of the architecture and its modernity. But in this one, as you can see, it's got plenty of stuff. Like, really, if I thought Vienna train station had many things, Prague train station is above and beyond it. It's got many restaurants, many shops, many of everything. So pretty much you can wait confidently for your train and you can arrive two or three hours and you will be really entertained. I'd say even more entertained than in a world-class airport. Because sometimes airports do have shops, but you know, because of its distribution, it will not be as cramped as here in a good way, of course. Now, thank you guys, and again, please remember to leave a like down below and consider subscribing. Thank you. So for the first train, I ended up paying around 16.8 euros per passenger. And for the second train, I ended up paying around 29.9 euros per passenger, which was a really good deal considering the prices of airlines they offered, which were around 100 to 200 euros, depending, of course, on the airline, the fare, and what you want to bring and what you don't want to bring. So. Definitely it was way cheaper to be on a train and of course more convenient because you can bring more stuff and you'll arrive pretty much at the center of the city instead of an somewhere close to the city which is an airport of course. So hopefully guys you found this video good and if so once again leave a like down below and subscribe. Thank you so much and see you on the next one.